Good morning, day three. Iodine 1,000 times the RDA every day till I get a tummy ache. I'm out here on the beautiful trout lake spectating the mother geese and their little chicklets. Don't do this at home. This is 1,000 times the RDA for iodine, including elemental and potassium iodide. Two parts potassium iodide, one part elemental iodine. 1,000 times the RDA is roughly 100 milligrams. There are pros and cons to everything. There's a risk reward balance, and there's always some serious dangers that something could go wrong. In my personal situation, I have ways to address symptoms, and uh, I've studied this for a while alongside many other trace minerals that I balance. And hopefully we can elucidate some of the optimal recommended dietary allowances for these. Some of them I believe are too low and some are too high. We have to figure out where we find ourselves within these ranges. The essential eight that I'd like to call iodine, molybdenum, selenium, zinc, copper, manganese, magnesium, potassium. These guys are absolutely essential. And if you have a deficiency of any one of these or multiple, oh, I'm gonna tell you right now, most humans have a deficiency of at least three of these minerals. And it could even be severe. This is because of the deteriorating state of our soils and it's no longer possible. Within the current contact of our food supply chain, it's no longer possible to secure yourself with an adequate intake of these essential trace minerals. And this is why I believe that it's important that many of these be supplemented within our diet. Doesn't matter if you're a carnivore eating two pounds of beef a day, a vegan, a vegetarian, a lactovo vegetarian, there's a really strong chance that at least in one of these or multiple trace minerals that you will find yourself to be in a deficient state. And so if uh, we can raise awareness for this, we can significantly blunt the progression of human disease and uh, many of these insidious pathologies that are plaguing our society today. And this is an experiment of rationality. This is an experiment to push the limits on the human condition and assure that we don't still have iodophobia or any mineral phobia present in our society. You could almost say this isn't an experiment and that the 50 ingredients in a bag of Doritos is the experiment or that some sort of weird dye created in a chemical plant that goes in a sports drink is the experiment. Why are we so reluctant to call those things experiments? Something to ponder today. Anyways, have a great day.